Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Auten Company. It's Thursday, December 24th. I'm going to go over the markets with you, but first, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Uh, coming in here, we're going to have shortened hours, closing at noon on the day. Uh, you really had light trade majority of the day. Actually, in the beginning of the day, your feeder cattle market saw a bid ask at like a 50 cent range. So, you know, there was very light volume to start off the day, and that kind of continued in the trend. You had lower markets across the board for the grains, though they did find a little bit of buying coming into the close, but not not enough to get them into the green. Corn down about one to two cents. Uh, beans down about four to five cents after being down eight cents at one point. And then the wheat market down a couple cents also following corn's lead. There's not a lot of news out there. There was plenty of news actually in beans, but they didn't want to take it. You got a sale out of beans this morning. You also had extremely well export sales, almost double the top end of the range for expectations on those, but uh, it just wasn't enough to grasp onto. There's plenty of beans around and they're not really wanting to take advantage of this um, recent statement that uh, about half the beans in Brazil are poor to very poor conditions. So uh, they're saying that Brazil's getting the rains that they need for the time being. That'll take care of it. If it comes to a point where we aren't getting that, that might change. But for now, it looks like everything's fine there. So you saw that pressure there. Looks like corn closed down about 10 cents on the on the week, beans down about 15, and wheat down 19 on the week. So you did have pressure really uh, majority of the week. Uh, meat market, different situation there with uh, strength starting in on Friday and moving forward to this week you got a repeal on Friday of cool and that kind of just set the tone you got a friendly cat or a cold storage you got a friendly hog and pig report and that just really pushed everything moving forward to give enough of it you had aggressive selling for a while now in the meat market so you had just a really rash turnaround there uh, it looks like uh, live cattle up about 10 to 11 bucks on the week feeders up about 14 that does not include the um, big trade you had last Friday uh, so you really you had some some good support there. Feeder cattle were sold into the opening down about two bucks. They were able to rally back down about 50 to 75 cents uh, at the end of the day. Outside markets were a little bit friendly with crude up, the dollar down, and the Dow up. Uh, so you had that support there, but overall it was very light trade. You're not going to see um, anything tomorrow for Christmas. And then next week, you're also having a shortened week with New Year's Eve also. So uh, not a lot of news around. I do have to close with a disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss and may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great week.